it's time to fire this thing up. Welcome back. We still have some welding and some bending to do with the rub rail on the Monterey. And speaking of that boat, you know, it's been sitting out of the water for about a year now. And our diesel fuel has really started to get contaminated with that bacteria and algae. So a friend of ours, Bill McAllister, brought a portable fuel polishing system to the boat. His company is called Fuel Tech. And he polished our diesel fuel. And I could not believe how much gunk was actually in the fuel and this happens a lot when a boat sets. Not, not only on diesel but also gasoline with the problems with ethanol. And there are many, many fuel additives today that say or make claims that they treat ethanol but we're going to do a little experiment right now in front of your eyes with our next expert guest. Hi Tony, how are you? How are you doing John? I'm doing great. This is Tony Martinez and he is one of the owners of a company called Formula X2. And Tony, there are a lot of fuel additives out there. there. All right. Why you? Let's talk about some of the other big ones that are out there. And, and what do we have here on the display table with these beakers? Well, we have a regular gasoline right out of the pump with 10% ethanol, just like they say on the label. And we've added some water to, All the, right. to both beacons. They're exactly the same. Now, now I've got a little card here. I'm, I'm trying to help you see the line, the water's at the bottom, it's heavier than the fuel, okay, and then the fuel's up at top. Can, can you see that? We have it in this beaker, we also have some water in this beaker, okay? Now, what are we going to test to show that that's truly water? Well, we have a paste called water finding paste that they use at the gas stations with a big ruler that they stick in the tank to see how much water they've accumulated. Okay. So we've got the paste and we, what we've done is we put it on, on a couple of sticks here so we can test the water. Okay, show everybody the color of the paste because doesn't it change if there's water? It'll turn red if okay. there's water. All right, now go ahead and show everybody that there's water. So we're gonna turn it like this so we can get a lot of the water and you can see how quickly the water, the paste turns red. All right, look at the color difference. Big time color difference, okay? Show the other one has water. Okay. All right, we have water and that's a problem with ethanol. It, it actually creates water, and, and an engine cannot burn water, okay? It can't compress water in the piston, and it'll explode. Yeah. Okay, so water is a, a big issue, ethanol is a big issue. Well, you can see the ethanol, you can see the, the condensation around the beacons just from sitting out here a few minutes. Okay, well, let's treat it with a big brand uh, fuel stabilizer. You, so, you guys might know this at home, you might use this. This is the marine formulation of that, right? Yes, we're gonna treat it with a little bit more than one and a half ounces, in which is about seven gallons. Okay. Okay. One and a half, they make a claim that one and a half ounces will treat um, uh, seven and a half gallons of, right. of fuel, or one ounce for, for five gallons, okay? Correct. And it looks like you poured a little bit more than that. Yeah. It, it, that's okay, okay, that's okay. This, this, is, this is about a coffee cup full. Yes. Versus seven and a half gallons, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and shake it up, make sure we get the product working in there real good with the water. All right. As you can see. The okay, let's hold the card up. Can you see the separation? There's still water in there, isn't there? Can, can, you, can we detect it with, yes. this, with the paste, this water finding paste? No. See the color of it? and you can see it turning red. Absolutely, so the water's still in there. There's water in there. Okay. okay, now let's use some Formula X2 into this beaker that has the gasoline and the water. All right, and, and how much are we gonna pour in there? About we're, an ounce and a half? Yeah, we're gonna put about the same amount. Um, now the beaker has graduated lines in there. So, so he, we're just putting exact, the exact same amount we put in there. Right, and then stir, stir that up. Stir it up real quick. Okay, I, here, let me get my hand out of the way. I don't know if you can see that. I, I don't see any phase separation. Where, where's the water, Tony? 
Let's go ahead and test it out real quick to see if we find water. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it sideways. And there's absolutely no water in there. Look at the color change difference. There's, there's no water with the gas that's been treated with Formula X2. Okay, where, where does the water go? Well, the water is still technically in there. What we have done is we separated the oxygen from the hydrogen. Okay, so the hydrogen can mix right in with the fuel and, and it'll burn right through all the way to the bottom. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff that can burn in an engine, all right? You can use nitrous oxide, all right, and it'll burn. But if you, if you run it too long, you can actually blow up your engine. It's burning too hot. It, you can't run strictly corn alcohol, ethanol gas, um, in your, in your uh, vehicle or in your boat because, again, it burns too hot. It'll melt the engine. Correct. Okay? Does this Formula X2, does this at all boost octane? No, not at all. That's one of the greatest things about it. It will not burn your engine too hot. It will not do any damages. The, all the detergents in this is to protect you from the ethanol, um, clean out your gums, your injectors, your fuel lines, protect it from ethanol problems, and continue to eliminate the water that creates, the ethanol creates into your fuel tank. Okay, one of the other big problems with ethanol is not so much the, the water, because there are water separators. I mean, you can get water out of your fuel. Right. Okay, not in the engine, but at least in the tank. You, you can use a water separator. But I'm talking about the problem of ethanol attacking the fuel lines, literally disintegrating them, um, attacking components inside a carburetor and, and, and melting plastic parts. Correct. Okay, ethanol does that. Does Formula X2 at all treat the damaging aspects of this ethanol, this corn alcohol on, on the plastics and the fuel lines? Yeah, the detergents protect all your plastics in your carburetors and your fuel lines and everything. And we got a couple of um, samples here. Okay, what, what, what is this? Um, a month ago, on 8-6-2010, we took some regular fuel from the gas pump and we put it in here with a piece of fuel line. Okay, as you can see the discoloration of the fuel, you can see particles of the fuel line in there and the water separation you can also see in here. There's literally chunks of that fuel hose. It's, it's starting to disintegrate. To break it down, exactly. Okay, what's this now, one? This one is the same, on the same day at the same time, we put this, a piece of the same rubber and in the fuel, and you can see how much cleaner the fuel stays, and there's no um, parts of that fuel line in there at all. This is absolutely amazing. If somebody wanted to buy this, because I think it's pretty big, if somebody wanted to learn uh, more about Formula X2, where can we lead them? Well, you can go to our website, formulax2.com, and, and talk to somebody live, and they can explain to you anything that, um, any questions that you have about the can, product? Can, can they buy it off the website or do you have a distribution network? They can buy it through the website if there's not a distribution uh, close to you, but you can go to Sea Power in Miami. It's a great place. They, they have our product, BNF Marines and Brower Motor uh, Sports. They carry our product in okay. Brower County. And, and a lot of, this is really catching on fast. A lot of guys are, are picking you up. Shipshape TV will be back in a flash. Here's gasoline straight from the pump. You do realize that ethanol creates water and can melt fuel hoses, right? Ow! See the phase separation? Let's try the big name stabilizer and see if it gets rid of the water. Mix it up good. Hmm, still there. Now, let's try Formula X2. Incredible! Water's gone. It'll completely burn. And best yet, independent tests prove that only Formula X2 keeps fuel line and plastic parts from melting. Order now to do your own test.